I want to welcome you guys to a showcase video. This has got to be my favorite project thus far, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I want to welcome you guys to an AFK Autocrafter. In order to make this an actual AFK Autocrafter, you're going to need the client mod item scroller. I will go over that near the end of the video to show you how to get that set up. But this is a modified version. This is a design by RafQ from the Storage Tech Discord, as well as Ferrigian has modified it with the minecart and has created this neat little circuit here. Now how this system works is that there is an input chest right here, and this can come from anywhere, it doesn't matter, but the items are needed to be in shulker box form. So the shulker boxes are going to start in this hopper chain, and they're going to put two into each slice. The first one's going to get dispensed, the second one is going to sit in this hopper here. The rest of them will spin around until they find an open slot. So you can have a slime farm, a gold farm, you know, anything with a lot of items that you want to craft down. You're going to be able to craft over 60,000 of those items into compacted resources. That would go for anything. You could craft pistons with this, you could do a whole bunch, but I will go over that design in just a little bit because there are a little bit of a different setup you have to have for it. If you are using carpet mod, you can stack your boxes, but there is a fair warning with this. You cannot use multiple colored shulker boxes. The input should be either uncolored or all the same color, or that will diminish the returns of stacking boxes right here because there's no way to actually sort out the boxes by color. But what will happen here is they're all going to get stacked right on top of this, and then they will be put in these hoppers for easy storage. And you can handle a lot of really big farms like this. This is all the hoppers we need right here for the emerald farm right now. The shulker block export line for all the empty boxes are going to come from these barrels. It is recommended to have these barrels because it makes it easy to access these. You can store them any other way you'd like, but if you're going to use this, the only other way to actually manage the stack shulker boxes would be a mine, hopper minecart. So you'd have to have a bunch of hopper minecarts right here, which makes it super difficult to actually access. This is a lot easier. You can access each one of these independently. It does make it a little bit more complicated and manual to pick up your boxes, but you'll be able to AFK this for a lot longer if you do it this way and be able to grab all of your boxes out pretty easily. On the other side of this, we actually have two Forex loaders developed by Jay. This is going to handle all of your crafted items and it should stay about this full. You will see about seven eighths of this consistently use this as well as it is capable of handling bursts of items. If you want to go over here to turn the switch off and stuff like that, or you do anything over here for just a moment, the items are going to pile up pretty significantly where you stand. So you're able to handle all those extra items and you don't have to worry about that. They will just cycle back through and then they will be resorted over time. They will not despawn. Turning the system on, you will see that there are a lot of items flying out of this. This is going to generate over 500,000 items. So do not let this sit for long or it will start to get very laggy. And with just a couple minutes, you are capable of crashing the game. So we're going to stand here, we will put ourselves into survival mode, and it is recommended to have these crafting tables a little bit away from the player, either up so that the items that you craft are going to fly out of your inventory, or just down here, it seems to be a little bit easier to actually access these, and then your items are just going to fly out, and then they are just going to get sorted, and, and that's that. As you can see, the items that I have in burst form are flying back around. So that it will just keep going back around until I get sorted. And that's all there is to this. Your output is going to be right next to these loaders. You can hook this up to whatever you'd like. You can hook this up to a water stream and put it next to the crafter so you can see what you've crafted. You could send it up above. You could put it just about anywhere. I'm going to link a video by Jamin. He has made an easy alignment for this. He uses grindstones and you'll just want to place the first two grindstones right in front and behind these slabs and then to the left. Align the carts as he shows and then push all this glass and slabs down on top of those carts so that they can never be moved again. Next, before you finish and start building all of this, you'll want to make sure that you've only built this thus far. You want to make sure that this redstone block is back here and everything else is as shown. This observer is facing down. This is right here on top of this observer and then you have chests on top of everything else. This design is going to be for the actual autocraft for any recipe. The other design, these chests would just be hoppers spinning around with a double chest right here next to this hopper. So now we've got to get the minecart alignment done and this is a little tricky and if you move these minecarts at all, so if I were to place two minecarts here, I've moved them like this, but then I touch them in any way, they will separate. If they separate, you need to break them and you need to restart. It is best to have everything else built as shown so that you can go collect your minecarts back from up here so you don't have to run around and figure out where they went and figure out if they're even below you. This is going to be a lot easier and it is best to start building from the bottom up. In order to align the minecarts properly, the best way to do this is to grab two minecarts and place them on these rails like this. 
You'll want to power them for a brief moment, make sure they both go forward. You'll want to break the redstone dust, break both of these blocks, break these rails and these bars, and then very carefully you want to get back here. You want to place both of the hoppers right here, and then you want to place both of your comparators like so. And then lastly, you'll want to make sure you place your pistons in without bumping anything, and it's best to do that if you are already back here. Lastly, you're going to need to take your activator rails, and you'll want to place them at the hopper, and then behind them, and then two blocks as well. And then just repeat this through the entire thing. The last thing you'll want to do is you'll actually want to place sticky pistons facing upside down right here, and you'll want to make sure that the activator rails are actually powered when this is off. If they are not, and it is powered up here, it will actually power the hopper and it will never unload items from this ever again. It'll lock these minecarts where they cannot be activated. That is the entire purpose of activator rails, is you can actually lock minecarts with this. This is very important to make sure that everything is in the right state. This is a very state-based crafting system. If anything is out of place, it will not work. So if anything's going weird and you're not getting the rates you think you should be getting, it's probably because something is in the wrong state. Again, these redstone blocks need to be above these rails, and these redstone blocks before the farm is turned on needs to be put right here above this comparator. So I've loaded up all these chests with the right materials to start crafting pistons. I've got one chest for iron, one chest for redstone, three for planks, and four for cobblestone. So if I were to turn this on, go over to start crafting, we should see a lot of different materials flying through here. And if done right, I hope I've got this on the board. There's survival. Set pistons. New recipe. And there we go. We are now automatically crafting pistons. I think that's kind of handy. Isn't that nice? should be able to continuously get the right amount of items at the right rates because everything is based on the same loading speed so that shouldn't ever break and everything is sent to the middle in this design so that it can be sent at a little bit faster so that there's not a mismatched amount of items. This should also be able to handle bursts as well so we're able to throw out everything just like normal except now we can craft business. Lastly, there's a couple of the original designs left here so that everybody can see what happens here. This would be the two speed loader as well. You can use this to double and split your items. You can use this to put them into droppers, which is what we're doing here, and as well as just the original so that you can use a one speed unloader as well. These are all the original designs by RafQ, and this, I believe, is my design. So I want to thank you guys for this. I think this is going to be great. I think a lot of people are going to find this useful, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. There will be a world download for this, and I hope you guys enjoy using this machine.